In the studio, we're joined by another fantastic guest. This person is a Sony SSE, which stands for Totally Awesome Engineer. <laughs> His responsibilities have just been included, uh, just been increased to include every single camera that Sony makes, and he knows everything about them. Please welcome Mr. Joe Shimizi. Welcome, Joe. Good to be it's back. It's great to have you on the show. We really appreciate it. Two awesome, exciting products that we're going to talk about today. The first one is that switcher that I hinted at with Mr. Yeah. Adrian Allen. So we like letters and numbers here. What's the model number? Uh, it's the MCS8M. Okay, it's an MCS8M. Virg, do we have a picture of the switcher? I knew it. I knew we, we would. Go. So this looks familiar, Joe. Where have I seen this, this panel before? Yeah, if you've kind of noticed the audio section of it, if you've ever heard of Sony's AnyCast, is actually the exact AnyCast audio board uh, that was cut out and dropped into the MCS-8. Beyond that, it's a similar button scheme and action on the uh, keys for okay. your buses. Uh, same uh, fader. And uh, it, it's just actually our pared down switcher. We wanted, down. To, we wanted to create a very affordable production switcher that was also uh, small, because okay. a lot of requests. Small footprint. Small footprint. Yeah. Um, it's about the size Big of a box of set. boots. Uh, about one. You would get box. cowboy boat, cowboy boots in a box that size. All right. Um, it's very versatile. Um, it'll do HD or SD. Okay, um, but not both. No, one or the other. Multi view. Uh, multi view. You get four uh, view, a uh, four view or a ten view. Okay. Um, and then, like you mentioned, we have uh, four HD SDI, three HDMI. A DVI I in. It's good to know. Okay, it's the because I, that's not the, the composite D. version. Yeah, it's the analog version. All right. Um, you can then. We also have three VBS if you're working in composite. And we have to. Uh, what does VBS stand for? Uh, video uh, black and sync. I did not know. Video that. burst and sync. Yes. Fantastic. Um, so three composite inputs. VBS. There you go. We got a good view of the back of the switcher <laughs> there. And one of the nice things is that, you know, a f being a one-man band is really what this was trying to help somebody do. So we also wanted to put audio in there with you because you really can't have your hands split. It's so that's on the top right? We're looking at yeah, audio Yeah, you, you have your programs out, you have your mic lines in, and then you have your regular uh, XLR uh, mic in there for line level. Headphone jack? Yep. Right on the far left, it's a quarter inch. Fantastic. And then you can also get monitor out as well on set. So if you have speakers sitting on your console, you can, you know, because if you have your cans on, you need to be able to hear your, your talent or whatever else is going on. The kind of nice thing, too, is that the multi-view, you've got a couple ways to get access to it. Okay. You can use the DVI out uh, as for a multi-view, so you could just use a computer monitor if you want. Or you can actually, we have a dedicated uh, SDI spigot for the multi-view as well if you have an SDI monitor. All right. But one of the big things that you run into with small switchers is just you never really have enough outputs. Yes. Um, input you can kind of get around or fake, you know, if you really need to. Sure, get we'll, another switcher. Get another switcher. <laughs> we'd, we'd love for you to spend more money. Um, but what we did here was that we have uh, two auxes, a program, and the other multi-view out, that's the SDI spigot, those can all be made programs if okay. you want. Can they, can they all be auxes? Can I yeah. assign different stuff? Yep, those can, you can mix and match what you want for your outputs for that. So right. it's very convenient so you can send it a bunch of different places. So I, I find... One of the most exciting things about this switcher to be that I can take GoPros mm -hmm. 